dropping like flies all over the park. There's a bad batch of something out there. I got an emergency here. Took meth and opioids. You never know. You never Benny! Know what you've got until it's gone. Amelia may never see that little girl open her eyes again. She's gonna meet us. Cause you never know tomorrow. It's so funny to me the way that they cut trailers for television shows because the episode description shows a lot of information for this episode, but the trailer only contains one plot line. And don't get me wrong, I'm already excited for episode 14 because I'm really into the Amelia, Owen, and Teddy storyline dealing with Leo and whatnot. But the episode description is relatively detailed. And to have a majority of that detail not even included in the trailer makes me a little annoyed. But I get it. They want to kind of save everything for the episode itself. So when we watch it, we're like, wow, I had no idea that was coming, more or less. So let's read the description and then talk about the trailer. While Meredith breaks a hospital record, the rest of the doctors are sent scrambling in the wake of a massive overdose record within the community. Meanwhile, Jackson wants to take a reluctant man camping and Levi and Nico's relationship continues to develop. So, um... Levi and Nico's relationship continuing to develop. LGB representation. I guess fantastic, but you've already done that so well with Callie in Arizona, and I think Alex Landy isn't that strong of an actor, and I just don't care for glasses and um, uh, Nico, Kim's relationship at all. Quite frankly, I think it's just irrelevant. Whenever I see it, I get kind of bored. So meanwhile, well, we have uh, Jackson trying to take a reluctant Maggie camping. That's going to be hilarious. First off, Kelly McCary, as I said, very versatile in her acting. And, you know, last week she was more or less serious, or last week being in episode 13, she was more or less very serious and, uh, you know, was able to do flex of humor. But I have a feeling that if they do end up on the camping trip, it's going to be hilarity. Because um, way back, I think it was, um, I don't remember the season. It was when Meredith, or um, when Christina and Derek went fishing. And they, they were in the hospital, and it was one of the funniest episodes I've ever seen of Grey's Anatomy because it allowed Sandra O oh to really experiment as opposed to not being, you know, very stringent and very, very much Christina Yang. She got to really, you know, use her comedic um, abilities. And she's very funny. If you have, uh, when she hosts the Golden Globes, I thought that was awesome. So I'm looking forward to the storyline just because of the, you know, more elements of comedic um of comedic timing that you know Kevin and Carrie can impart on us and also just to have more comedy in the show is a good idea I've said a couple times that around uh, season 12 the show went 50 50 on comedy and drama and I think this episode even though the trailer seems to hype up massive amounts of drama I think it will have a good amount of comedy maybe 25 percent most of it dependent on Jesse Williams and Kelly McCurry so then the beginning of the of the description talks about Meredith breaking hospital record I wonder which record she has broken now there was one episode there's so many seasons, it's so hard to keep track. But I remember that uh, it was after that Wilson and um, Wilson and Edwards were on the show, they were shocked that Meredith was essentially able to have a streak where no one was dying. I believe it was season 12 or 13. I think Derek was dead at that point. Oh, no, no. He was, it was season 11. Derek was uh, away. And uh, it was around November. She had like 88 or so patients that she's kept alive. No one had died during surgery. So I wonder what record she's breaking now. And now for the rest of it, it says the rest of the doctors are sent scrambling in the wake of a massive overdose with the community. That's what the trailer is hyping up. So Jason George is back as Ben, which I think is exciting. I do think he's a really good actor, and I like seeing him and Bailey together. I was actually really bummed out when he got Station 19. I, first off, I don't think Station 19 is that good of a show. I think it's very boring. And I'm really... I really enjoy any scenes with him and Chandra Wilson. I just think they have a great chemistry, very much like um, Teddy and uh, Karasik do. I think they have a really good chemistry. So um, he's in the episode. And then the rest of the trailer really hypes up the idea of, um, of uh, Amelia losing Betty. Now, um, it looks like Maggie and Jackson, if they do go camping, it's going to be in the beginning of the episode because Maggie is in the trailer talking about how, um, you know, Amelia is going to need Meredith and uh, herself in order to, you know, calm down and get over if, uh, Betty's possible death. And I like the fact that Teddy's involved in this too. I think Kim Raver, I've said this many times, is a great actress. And she's relatively underutilized right now on the show, which I think is annoying. So I need her to have a really strong role. Though her storyline's prevalent, it's just, it's like B or C story, which is just so annoying. So the fact that Betty 
uh, could have OD'd and uh, possibly die is is interesting, and it's just going to cause more and more drama because, you know, the way that the the show is written is she li- she ran away from home. She's been gone for a year and a half. She got pregnant and had a baby. She lied to the system, and then she lied to Owen and Amelia. So Owen and Amelia, you know, legally ha- or more so Owen, Owen has legal custody of of his son, who is Leo, who the assistant believes is Betty's. And now it's really Brittany's. And it's like, where does custody fall? I would say practically once it's court ordered, it should fall on the parents, but like no one wants that to happen because no one wants Owen to lose uh, Leo because everyone likes Owen and Leo, like Owen's his dad. So that's just a little upsetting. But the way the trailer was cut just to show the opioid, the opioid outbreak storyline, I think is really interesting because it's, it's impactful. The music's great. Uh, Katarina Scorsone crying at the end of it about losing Betty. I thought that was really, really well done. So just having, you know, that one storyline was good. So I've said before that trailers are important and need to have more than one storyline to be an interesting and impactful trailer. And I stand by that. But when you have one storyline that's really going to be the umbrella of the episode and not like um, last week's trailer, I think really needed for episode 13, really needed to have at least two storylines in it because there was five. So you need to show something beyond just one because none of those storylines were important enough to be the umbrella. But here, the opioid outbreak is definitely the umbrella because you're going to have Meredith working with Amelia. You're going to have Meg come back to deal with Amelia. You're going to have Teddy dealing with Amelia. And then you're going to have even Owen dealing with Amelia. So because this outbreak is so inclusive to all these characters it makes sense that that's the reason why this trailer is cut the way it is though it would have been nice to have seen um a little bit of nico and schmidt um just just for the sake of uh well marketing but i digress so overall from what i saw in this trailer i thought it was fantastic i really liked it i'm looking forward to seeing what you guys have to say about the trailer in the comments below i'm looking forward to episode 14 very very much all right guys thank you for watching my review and we'll talk real soon all right bye